to go mental. Uh, hey. um. Oh, no. <laughs> With five brand new episodes of Brain Surge five days in a row. Who wants to get slimed? A week of brand new Brain Surge continues next, only on Nick. Super concentration skills. Let's meet today's brainiacs. Alexis is an amateur magician. Ah, Allie is a girl who just wants to have fun and listen to 80s music. Lindsay is the president of her middle school, that is. Jesse is a gymnast and a cheerleader. Justin plays a violin in the school orchestra. And Drew can hit a bullseye at 500 yards. One of you guys is going to go home a champion today, plus have a chance to play for thousands of dollars in prizes and to get slimed from head to toe. You're going to be competing in three intense levels of brain games. The first level is full visual puzzles that are going to test your ability to see things quickly. In front of you, you have a special game pod. That's where I want you to lock in your answers. At the end of this level, the four of you with the highest scores are going to move on to level two, Whereas the other two of you, well, there's only one way out of here, and that's down the brain drain. All right, you guys ready? Yeah. Let's do it. I'm going to head over to the brain center. We can get this dog and boy show started. Let's go. Level one. Whoa. What do you know? Those giant head vitamins have finally paid off. All right, let's kick things off with a 10-point puzzle. Now, remember, pay close attention to these instructions. I need your help apprehending a suspect. Listen carefully to the caller's description. Uh, yeah, I saw somebody set off a stink bomb in the school cafeteria. He was about six feet tall, he was bald, he wore a tank top, and he had a huge nose. Which of these suspects matches that description? Time is up. How do we think we did? Good. Good? All right, let's find out. Let's see what the correct answer is. Number one. Yeah. All right. Seen a lot of people happy. Let's see who got it right. Allie, Jesse, Lindsay, and Justin got it right, and Alexis didn't get his answer in on time. This next puzzle, worth 20 points. Here it comes. I'm about to get my dance on. Pay close attention to the dance moves I do. I call this one my first move. I like to follow it up with my second move. And of course, chicks can't get enough of the third move. And finally, I finish it off with the fourth move. Now, take a look at all my moves together. Which move did I not do earlier? Time's up. By the way, I'm throwing a dance party after the show. You're all invited. Yeah. Allie, do me a favor. Think you can bring the music for me? So I love the 80s rock. Yeah. All right, sounds good to me. Let's see what the correct answer is. Number three. Woo. Let's see who got it right. Oh, okay. Well, we're gonna give 20 points out to all of you who got it right. Allie, don't sweat it. We got another puzzle where you're gonna be able to make it up. Puzzle three, it's worth 30 points. Here it comes. Walter has a little problem with nose hair. Count how many hairs he plucks out. How many hairs did he pluck out? Yeah, that's disturbing on many levels. In honor of our good friend Walter, if you think you got this answer correct, put your nostril up against that camera. Okay, let's see. Lindsay, 
either doesn't want to put her nostril there or just doesn't want any part of that. Justin, you got a few bats in the cave. Okay, let's find out what the correct answer is. Oh, nine. Let's see who got it right. Oh, Justin got it right. Congratulations to Justin. And that's going to bump you up in the first place with a score of 60. Very nice. Yeah. All right, Allie, we got to focus on this one. Yeah. 40 points, still anybody's game. Here it comes. Four buses are about to pull up to this bus stop. See if you can spot the bus that looks different from the others. different from the others. Let's see what the correct answer is. Ah, number two is the correct answer. Who got it right? All right, Drew. I got to ask you, Drew. Did you just guess on that one? No, I did not. It says school. Ah. Everyone, everyone else's bus said student. Very nice. Good eyes, Drew. I am feeling real generous, and I'm feeling like giving out 50 points. Take a look at this puzzle. I'm entering this elevator on the first floor. Pay attention to which floor I exit the elevator. did I exit the elevator? Alexis, uh, what do you find more disturbing, that there was a clown in the building or a bear? A bear. A bear, okay. Some people would have gone with clown. There's no wrong answer here, though. <laughs> Let's see what the correct answer is. There I am on the first floor. I'm going up to two, three, four. Oh, hello, blonde-haired girl. And there's the creepy clown coming in. I'm up to the fifth floor. See you later, blonde-haired girl. Back on the fifth floor, bear. The correct answer is three. Let's see who got it right. All right, Lindsay and Justin, well done. Justin, you're leading the way with 110 points, followed closely by Lindsay with 80 points. Drew, 60. Jesse, 30. Alexis, 20. And Allie, 10. But you know what? This is the final puzzle. The four of you with the most points will advance to the next level, and the other two of you are going to go down the brain drain. And I say it's anyone's game, because this one's worth 100 points. Pay attention. Here it comes. One of me is about to eat this big burrito. Keep track of where he lands. In which position did the burrito-eating Jeff land? Lock in your answers. Time is up. Jesse, how do you think you did? Can't tell ya. you. Can't, you can't tell me or you won't tell me? There's a big difference. <laughs> I can't tell ya. you. You can't tell me. OK. Let's see what the correct answer is. Oh. That is not nice. And if you think that's bad, you should see me after two burritos. Oh, yes, I just said that. OK, let's see who got it right. Oh, wow, very nice. We're giving a lot of people 100 points. Allie, Drew, Lindsay, and Justin, nice job. Now it's time to find out which four of you are moving on to level two. And which two of you are going down the brain drain. In first place with 210 points is Justin. Yeah. With 180 points in second place is Lindsay. With 160 points coming in in third place is Drew. Now, there are three of you left and only one more slot. In fourth place with 110 points is Allie. <laughs> Jesse and Alexis, you guys uh, played a great game. And before we send you down the brain drain, let's find out what you've won. 
Congratulations, you've won Nick Arcade gift certificates. Nick Arcade is where you can buy video games based on all your favorite Nickelodeon shows. All that and a bucket of slime. Jesse, Alexa, it's time that you head down the brain drain. Jesse, come on down. <laughs> Alexis, you're up! Thanks for playing! When we come back, these four brainiacs will put their massive minds in the test in level two. Don't go anywhere. Surge. My name is Phil Jeff, and congratulations to you four Brainiacs for making it to this level. What do you say we get to know you a little better? How about it? Justin, water polo player, huh? Yeah. What's the ultimate goal for a water polo player? Score some goals. Score some goals. How about the Olympics? In my future, hopefully, one day. Very nice. Lindsay, I hear you once tried to pass yourself off as a British rock star. Yeah. Care to tell us why? Okay, me and my friend felt like being British rock stars for the day, so we walked around town and we asked people random questions and they asked us where we were from and we said we were British rock stars. Care to demonstrate your British accent? Okay. Um, Jeff, do you know where the donuts are? I don't. <laughs> Sorry. Drew! Yes, why well, yes, what is it, Jeff? <laughs> BMX racer. Yes, that is correct. How many trophies you got? A little over 20, a little over 20 trophies. Some big, some small? Well, they're all first, so they're all about this tall. All first place. I what's... only keep those ones. That's right. And now it's, what's the uh, best trophy you've won? State championship. Very good. Congratulations. Allie. Hey, Jeff. What is it about the 80s that you love so much? I love their hair and clothing. You can't argue with either one of those. All right, enough of the chit chat. What do you say we play this game? Level two. On this level, I'm going to tell you a story from Jeff's big book of super fantastic true chronicles of truth that are absolutely true. Stand up, guys. It's story time. Yay! All right, I want you to pay close attention to the story I'm about to read you because when I'm done, I'm going to ask you some questions about what you just saw and heard. Got it? Got yeah. it. All right, now remember, everything that I'm about to tell you is absolutely 100% true. No. Nothing says summer like road trip. After saying hasta la vista to the Pacific Ocean, my buddy and I hit the road. We stopped to see Mr. T-Rex, and then it was off to Mother Nature's sandbox, the desert. We passed the world's biggest thermometer and spent the night in Las Vegas, which is Spanish for a ginormous electric bill. <laughs> After a detour to visit my cousin and her friend at Area 51, we took a tour of the Hoover Dam, which was originally designed to be a skate park. I totally looked that up. Then it was off to the most photographed hole in the earth, the Grand Canyon. Even more impressive were the huge buffalo burgers in the restaurant and a teepee. We took a wrong turn around the Rocky Mountains and almost missed the world's biggest ball of twine. Up next was Nebraska's Carhenge. It's an ancient Indian burial ground for cars. We headed north to Mount Rushmore to see Sal, Cletus, Klebel, and um, that guy with the glasses. And of course, in Minnesota, there's Paul Bunyan and his big blue ox babe. We saw the Gateway Arch in St. Louis, great place for a tire swing, the Liberty Bell in Philadelphia, the White House in Washington, D.C., the Empire State Building in New York City, and lastly, we visited the most famous lady of them all, the Statue of Liberty. And you guys thought I was going to say Beyonce, didn't you? <laughs> That's my story, guys, and it's all true. Justin, starting with you, we're going to go down the line. I want you to list off one of the famous places that I went to. To lock in your answer, you're going to sit down. If you're right, you're going to hear this. And if you're wrong, Allie, would you please demonstrate and have a seat? Oh, Allie. You're also going to hang on for the ride. Stand on up. Justin, are you ready? Yes, I am. Name one of the things you heard off that list. The Missouri Arch. Oh, sorry. Well, he's got himself a one-way ticket down the brain drain. <laughs> Lindsay, what do you got for me? Babe. Babe? Very good. Drew. Area 51. Area 51 for Drew. We'll take it. Paul Bunyan. Paul Bunyan. The ball of twine. The ball of twine. I'll take it. Drew. The big guy with the glasses. The big guy with the glasses? 
Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Big guy with glasses. Three guys going back to the brain drain, which means Lindsay and Allie, it's time for a knockout round. Knockout round. I hope you guys are paying close attention because I'm about to kick it up a notch. Behind those numbers over there are images from the story I just told you. Make a match correctly, stay in the game. I'm gonna give you 10 seconds to look at the board and memorize it. Your 10 seconds starts now. <laughs> Guys, get a good look, because I did not. Lindsay, you're up first. What number do you want? 15. 15. And? One. And one. Very good, it's a match. Allie, how about it? What's your first number? Three. Three. And 11. And 11. I'll take it. Back to you, Lindsay. 12. 12. And six. And six. Very good. Very nice. Um, Allie, how five. about it? Five. And 10. And 10. Oh, with that miss, we have entered sudden death territory. The next correct answer moves on to the final round. Pick wisely. Five. Five. And eight. Eight. Oh, okay. Allie, what's your first number? Two. Two. And 13. And 13. Nice job, Allie. You're the winner. Lindsay, sit and hold. You're giving a trip to the brain drain. Congratulations, Allie. Thank you. You are moving on to the third and final round where you're going to have your chance at thousands of dollars of prizes, plus that sliming that I personally promised. Just for Lindsay and Drew, you guys played a great game, and besides going down the brain drain, I'm going to send you home with this. Congratulations, you've won a Neutrano Rift Music Watch. Play music anywhere, anytime with the Rift Music Watch from Neutrano. Rift Music can record live lectures in class and download files. From Neutrano. Justin, Drew, and Lindsay, time for you to head down the brain drain. Justin, come on down. See ya. Drew, you're up. Thanks for playing, Drew. Lindsay, you're next. See you later. When we come back, we'll see if Allie can find her past the victory in level three, the final stage. This is Allie. She has cleared the first two levels. How you feeling? I'm feeling great. You're feeling really good because yeah. you were behind in level one. You mm -hmm. made a nice comeback and now you're a champion. You're right here. You're about to play the final stage where you can win thousands of dollars in prizes plus the slime. The slime. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> level three, the final stage. This level has three parts, each one more difficult than the last. It's your job to memorize the lighted pattern on the floor and then recreate it by <laughs> stepping on the right square. For example, if you step on the right one, that happens. If you step on the wrong one, and then you gotta come back here and start over. Now, once you complete the first path by stopping the clock, by stepping on that button up there, the floor will expand to a five by five grid where the second path is revealed. Complete that path, and you're gonna have the hardest path of them all, the six by six. Here's what you could win. Complete the four by four and win a digital camera. Print and share your photos instantly with a 10 megapixel digital camera and the Polaroid Pogo instant mobile printer. All from Polaroid. Complete the 5x5 five five and win a Diamondback bike. The new Diamondback Outlook and Lester One. These 21 speed sport recreational mountain bikes handle both trails and pavement from Diamondback. Complete the 6x6 six six and win a Circus Circus Getaway! Stay at the Circus Circus. Located on the Las Vegas Strip, featuring dining, midway games, and circus acts. Plus, passes to the Adventure Dome theme park with 25 rides and attractions. All right, Allie, this is it. I uh, left 90 seconds around here somewhere. Oh, here it is. 90 seconds up on the clock. Take a look. Here's your first pass. All right, you're going to see it one more time. The clock is going to start when you make your first step. All right? Okay. Go ahead. She's off. 
Oh, oh, oh. Missed it. There she goes. Very good. Stop the clock. Very nice. Allie, come back up this way. Put it right there. Nice. Guess what? That seven seconds just got you a camera. Yeah. Check it out. Here's the five by five. And right now, you're playing for the bike. Oh, yeah. A little bit harder. Okay. Again, the clock will start when you make your first step. Go ahead. She's off. She's quick. She's quick. It's as if it's not even a problem. She's going over to stop the bike. Dude, that's worth two high fives right there. Good job. It's almost as if she's taunting me, saying, Jeff, seriously, call me when you have a challenge, because this trip to Vegas is as good as mine. As you can clearly see, we just opened this dance party up to a six by six. Yeah. And here is the hardest path of them all. This is for everything. The trip to Vegas, the sliming, here it is. Take a look. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm lost. <laughs> OK. Again, you have 76 seconds on the clock. Good okay. luck. She does it. Oh, good. Come on back. Come on back. Turn around. Take a look. Here's a, here it is again. All right. Okay. She's got it this time. She said, oh, OK, I got this this time. No problem. No. You got 60 seconds left. Okay. Here it is again. We've got the first part down. She has a very unique style. She's quick and light on her feet. Oh! All right. No sweat. You got 45 seconds. Take a look. All right. Go ahead. Come on, Al. You got this. You got this. Very good. She's good. Oh, man. This is where it gets tricky. Come on, back. Come on, back. Hurry. All right. There's 30 seconds. You're doing so well. This okay. is, the trip to Vegas is as good as yours. Twenty seconds on the clock. She's so close. Oh, come back. Ten seconds left. You got this. You got it. Here she goes. Here she goes. Oh no! Quickly! One last try. Three, two. You did so awesome. You got yourself a camera. You have a camera? No. You do now. Got yourself a bike. You have a bike? Now I have two. Now you have two, and there's nothing wrong with two bikes. And you know what? There's only one way out of here. The brain drain. The brain drain. Why don't you head over there and warm it up for me? That's all the time we have. Tune in next time as six new Brainiacs go head to head to head to head to head on an all-new episode of Brain Surge. Thanks for watching Mayfield, New York.